Orcon 2019 is the largest digital rights conference in the UK. We've got hundreds of activists and technologists and people who are just interested in learning more about their digital rights. We've had hundreds of people have rushed through reception and Snowden is on the main stage. We see that governments increasingly care less and less about rights uh, and care more and more about power, especially when we look at the context of technology and surveillance. It's the people who come in here and care. It's the people who stand up and say something rather than simply believing in something that make these things get better over time. Because yes, we will lose in the next years. Yes, we will lose in the next days, but we will also win. It's easy to forget that whistleblowers are not just there to serve the interests of the public, they are there to serve the interests of the institutions in which they're working. I see many of my peers apathetically giving away their privacy for modern necessities. For a generation that has grown up with such priorities, how can we ever hope for change? We are the future generation and we are going to be developing apps and programs which hopefully might impact the world and so it's important to involve us in discussions because these will be affecting our lives. And we need to make sure that there is equal communication across everybody in society. OrgCon was spread across multiple rooms. The discussion space has been a mixture of panels and discussions all day about open rights group issues. The action space has been an area of installations, artworks, workshops. We were uh, putting on a series of workshops in the action space called The Secret Life of Your Data, exploring the data from when it leaves your device and how it goes out into the wider world. The participants that we had today were absolutely fantastic. They were engaged, they asked great questions. Because a lot of people have volunteered actually to, to help me with my own research. We had a really engaged audience, which is always fantastic to see when you have people that are engaged in what you're saying, but also ask really helpful, diligent questions um, and make you think about your own position. Today I had a conversation with David Kaye, the UN Special Rapporteur on Freedom of Opinion and Expression. It's at a time when our rights online are more at threat than ever. Coming together to talk about problems and to talk about the solutions is incredibly important. Uh, when we talked about what does it mean for a technology to be ethical. What I'm seeing is actually more gender balance, which is a really good thing. I think it's less uh, just the tech bros. I'm still going through the day but, uh, and digesting everything, but I, I thought it was very interesting. I really like the debate, uh, full women debate, by the way, uh, on facial recognition. Their trust in the police is being undermined. Having a place for, for people from surveillance to uh, human rights, everyone that's here has just been phenomenal. Just in, in the past few minutes, I've met uh, huge numbers of people. Face-to-face -face meetings are, are definitely the best way to establish trust uh, and uh, you know, the, the seeds of future working relationships. I'm moderating a debate today on encryption policy from Ian Levy at GCHQ and Nate Cardozo of Facebook. These two participants in the debate are really interesting because you've got Nate with Facebook uh, who is sitting there with WhatsApp, a messaging service that over two and a half billion humans use, and somebody at GCHQ who wants to have access to some of those communications but needs to do it in a way that doesn't undermine the security of the platform. When we challenge the immigration exemption, when we complain to the ICO and make them act against ad tech, when we campaign against insecure age verification, this is only possible with you. Find me here in the cloakroom at the end of Orcon, where all good conferences end. We've had uh, activities all the way throughout the space. Three rooms bustling with ideas, with debate, with passion. Can't emphasize enough how great it is that we have this level of support. It's been an amazing day.